But no matter how far away you run. Hi, I'm back. Guess what, everybody? After we did this, we finally mostly finished the rest of this room. Let me show you. Wow, look, it's a couch. Cool. Wow, look, it's a square of masking. <laughs> It's supposed to be a TV. It doesn't matter. But anyway, today we're going to be something, doing something. Let me let me say this again. Today is the day that I take your requests from the previous video and make them into a real... Th well, not the previous video, the previous, previous video, and make them into the thing that you told me to make. So basically, I'm making what you requested the most, which just so happens to be Batman's mask. And I'm going to go completely against what I said I would do earlier, and I'm going to use the method that I used to make the Iron Man helmet once again. Hi Jenna, sorry you don't get to be in this video. Get in the boat. Okay. So, um, I have this tinfoil now, so that's that. I don't actually know what Batman's mask looks like off the top of my head. I have a general idea. I need some pictures. Give me a second. Boom. There we go. So, as it turns out, the whole Batman mask thing is a lot more complicated than it seems. Um, so, you know, I'll be happy if I even remotely look like Batman when this is done. So I guess I'll go ahead and rip some tin foil and sculpt it to my head. So just to catch you up to speed on this project a little teensy weensy bit. I'm doing like a half mask because the whole thing is kind of pointless. The back is just like, eh? But as you can see here, I haven't added the ears yet. And that's because I haven't. And I have plans for those. They're going to be separate technically. I'll glue them on later. And it's going to be really cool. And I'm kind of just trying to shape it out to my face right now and make it look symmetrical, which currently Currently, it's not. So I'm just gonna keep working. Oh, and also, I made a template for the eyes because last time I did the Iron Man helmet, the eyes were, yeah. Yeah, um. Not quite. So as you can maybe tell, I'm having the exact same problem that I had when making the Iron Man helmet, and that is that the eyes don't look very similar. If I can't fix it soon, I'm just gonna give up and carry on. Let's hope I can get it right. This is the best we're gonna get. Now it's time for the moment you've all been waiting for and that is to cover this entire thing in black duct tape. Hey kids, welcome back to Pro Tips with Flo. Does your duct tape need cutting? Mine does. Well, lucky for you, there's a thing you can do to cut your duct tape. Watch me. Extend your tape, grab your scissors, then take those scissors and chop the tape and open them up again really fast so that they don't get gunky again, or fast, or anything like that. That's all. Boom. 
I actually think it looks kind of good. So one thing I did last time I used this method that I have not done yet on this was use cardboard to make supports. So I'm going to do that now. This will also give me something to sink the elastic into later so I can pop it on here. And the finishing touch for this project are the ears. And I want them to be really long because I'm Batman. Cardboard, it's critical. For the success of the ears, that is. Okay, so now the real question is how tall do I actually want them to be? Maybe 12 inches? Big old Batman ears? Six inches, maybe? Yeah, six inches seems reasonable. Right. Oh, I could just use scissors. Dang it. Silly me. That was so much easier. Let's change the camera angle, shall we? Mm, look at that spicy camera angle. Man, it just... Nope, it's not very good, actually. Boom! It's a little bit better. Now you can get nice, up close and personal. But no matter how far away you are, if you want to be happy in a million ways, for the holidays, you can be home. Sweet home. This should work. Then if you want to be happy in a million ways, well then the holidays is, is home, home sweet home. Oh boy. I'm gonna be Batman. Okay cool, I'm gonna stop filming now because you've seen me do one ear, you don't need to see the other one, and because I've been, and because I've been filming for 10 minutes. Okay, ear number two. Boom. Ear number two, done. Cool. Bad news, boys and girls. We don't have elastic, so we're going to use string and um, staples. I'm just going to staple the whole thing to my face. It is very important to tie knots on the ends. <laughs> it, uh, it's, very, it's very important to tie, to tie knots on the ends. Because if you don't, it'll fray. Thank you, Father, for being quiet. Mostly. <laughs> okay, so, um, strings are tied. Yippee. It's uh, pretty much done. But let me do uh, the grand reveal. I'm Batman. So now it's time for the ritualistic montage, but I don't have a camera person, so I'm gonna do this selfie style. Um. I hope that wasn't too bad. Mom! The mask is stuck on my head. Oh wait. Never mind. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of Cardboard Craft. Um, it was kind of last minute because uh, school just started. So uh, this will be interesting filming again with school and stuff. Whatever. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Cardboard Craft. Uh, if you have any suggestions for what you think I should make next, leave those down in the comment section below because I do read them and do take them into consideration. That is why I made this. Um, and also preferably like not Marvel things because I've done a lot of that. If you'd like to support the channel, buying merch is a great way to do that and I will leave a link to that also down in the description below. And if you'd like to get a sneak peek of projects, you can Instagram, cool, down there. And as always guys, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe!